Whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey. Sit, take it easy. Hey, hello. Welcome back to Hands On What BLG. Uh, I am BLG, and uh, I am lefty. I am righty. And please, folks, for the love of shit, do not do this at home. Do not try this by yourselves. Don't even attempt this. This is dangerous as fuck. I'm taking this responsibility on my own with a little bit of firearm and gun repair knowledge. A little bit. Well, we have this here. <laughs> I'm going to put this back in here. I got my parts in today that I ordered. Put that at half cock like that. We have this here. <laughs> it is a Traditions 50 caliber black powder rifle that I bought for $40 on Spoon River Drive about five years ago. Broken. That's why it was 40 bucks. Normally working this would probably be $150, $175 black powder rifle. Not bad. Well, <laughs> the dumb shit <laughs> that had it... Give me a second. <sighs> the dumb shit that had it stripped out the fucking powder drum trying to put a bigger nipple in it. Not knowing <laughs> you have to drill and re-tap. So that was screwed up. That's why this was 40 bucks. So, Brother Jungle, rest his soul, and rest your soul, and say hello to Brother Rick for me and your mom and dad. Uh, Brother Jungle, uh, he brought this gun to his house that I gave, and uh, he took the barrel off, <laughs> which is easy. I'll show you how to take the barrel off this damn thing, hopefully. <laughs> and, uh... See this right here? Wow, I'm throwing shadows everywhere. See this right here? Right there. Poke it and pull the pin. Just like that. Make sure your hammer's back. Or at half cock, like that. Then you take out your ramrod. You can you can do that before or after. <laughs> Um, I prefer to do it after because I can grab it like this. There's the ramrod. Tilt your barrel. And there you go. <clears throat> now you got her broke down. Old technology is the coolest shit you've ever seen. <laughs> and probably one of the most reliable. You got a hook on the end right here in the barrel. Cast right in. This barrel's one cast. One shot. All the way up. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, he heated this up with a torch <laughs> and used a 24 inch pipe wrench and finally got this old bastard that's broken the fuck out of here like this. I got it to there. <laughs> I got it back from him like this. Nice. Now, five years of searching. Not knowing what I'm doing, folks, like I said, do not do this at home. <laughs> uh. I found a company and ordered pretty much everything they fucking had. Uh, Track of the Wolf Incorporated. Pretty much ordered everything they fucking have. I got two sets of these. Uh, this is a nipple, and this is, here, a powder drum. This is called a powder drum, by the way. Uh, it delivers the spark into the barrel to set off the powder charge. Okay? So, what I got, y'all, <laughs> eh, is the nipple right here <laughs> matching the kits that I ordered everything of. And I got a powder drum, right, y'all? Well, let's put this thing back together real quick. All right, and I'll show you what I ran into. There's that. So we take our barrel, <laughs> see the hook right here, the hook, it hooks into the back of the steel plate and drops down in, like that. We try to find our pin, it can go from either direction, 
I prefer left hand that way. There's your barrel. It's reinstalled. Right. So there's that. I don't need the ramrod in it. Got to that point, right? So I got to here. Mm. I got to this point right here. Here's where your powder drum goes in, right? Chop. Well, this powder drum that's new, <laughs> stainless steel, right threads wouldn't fit. It was hitting right here on the edge of the casting of this part, right? <laughs> So, <laughs> after saying, you know, a few choice words and sipping about a half a beer, I came up with, I took my side grinder, as you can see here, <laughs> this is a lot of camera angles, and I beveled this bit. You can see I beveled it a little bit, oh, right here, along the edge, I beveled it. Still didn't fit in chop. So I took the barrel off, and I took the side grinder, and I took, as you can see, it's a little rough, took a little bit off right shell <laughs> with the side grinder, right? Well, now, what we have, chow, is this, <laughs> goes right chow. Oh God, please fit. <laughs> and it screws in. Look at that. Perfect fit. You see? So what I'm going to do now is tighten this. Right? Because it won't it won't turn. You put the uh you put the nipple in it, it won't turn. It hits the steel of this casting. So I'm going to tighten this best I can up right chow. And uh We'll get her worked in. I've already checked it with the distance of the barrel to make sure it's not going too far. Uh, I held it up against the end of the barrel here. And it only came down about to the top of my fingernail on this barrel. Right there. So it's perfect. It'll set off the powder charge. So I'm going to tighten that in right there. Okay? Now, where am I? Oh shit, you're zoomed in. <laughs> Zoom out! <laughs> Damn it! That's why it looked weird. <laughs> Zoom out! So, like I'm saying, do not do this at home. Don't try this at home. I have a little bit of knowledge and I'm trying the best I can. So I'm going to turn this in here. Probably <laughs> going to scuff it up a bit because I'm using a pipe wrench. And I'll tighten it up and uh, I'll take the barrel off, of course. I'm going to tighten this up into here and then um, we'll start aligning the uh, nipple, this piece, <laughs> uh, and with a with a hammer, and see what it come up with. It'll either go bang, or it's going to be a perfect looking wall hanger. Either way, money spent well. So I'll be right back. I'm just going to tighten this in. <laughs> okay, so we're close. It's snugged up. It's nice and tight. The 10 inch pipe wrench. <laughs> that ain't coming out. So what I'm going to do is take this full cock, if I can, we're going to start our nipple, right in chow, it should, it should line up, a couple of tries, took a few tries last time too to get that starter thread, come on bitch, and I'm working backwards, <laughs> come on, come on bitch, no, come on. Okay, I'm going to have to work on that. By my, let's try left-handed. Lefty, can you do this? I know it starts in there. I just had it in there a little bit ago. You know what I mean? It's just that I can't hold it straight. <laughs> like this angle. There she goes. Alright. So I'm going to snug this nipple up. Not with a pipe wrench, thank for the love of God, no. <laughs> Not with a pipe wrench. Not going to do that. I'm going to snug this nipple here up. Right, oh, where are you? I'm going to snug this nipple here up. And we're going to see if we can get her aligned up with the hammer, right? Which looks like it's going to work. 
I think I can make this go boom again, folks. But I'm going to snug this nipple up in here, and we'll get her lined up to hit on the, on the center of the hammer. Be right back. All right, folks. This is a nipple wrench, okay? Right here. And uh, I used it to tighten the nipple in. You don't want to overdo it. Just get it nice and snug. You know, it doesn't have to be like ballistically. Ballistically. Talking about weapons. No. It, just nice and snug, right? This is a clean out screw for your powder drum so you can just clean it out with a pick. Uh, it's tight. Now, what we want to do is see if we can get it lined up with the fucking hammer so that the hammer will hit it plumb. Right now, if you pull it, don't let it drop. <laughs> if you pull it, we're not quite lined up. It's within range, we're just not lined up. So what I'm going to do, turn this back just a touch, just a little. And there she goes. As you see, it's lined up, folks. Um, <laughs> that's lined up perfect. Half cock. And uh, I'm going to put this away. <laughs> I got a shooting bag. Got some stuff. Got a starter thing. There's some quick load speed loaders and even wads and shit. Stuff like that. But, folks, I tell you what. <laughs> There you have it. <laughs> and if that <laughs> doesn't work, I believe I'll kiss you square on the fucking ass. That's perfect. A little bit of modification. And look here. Watch this. I've been drinking a few beers. Look at this. Tell me that ain't lined up real nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, mama. And it's tight against the barrel very tight and snug against the barrel like it should be this thing should go kaboom and I'm gonna try it tomorrow not this ep uh, not this episode folks I'll do another episode on it tomorrow we'll see if we can make this thing go kaboom hell yeah but for now <laughs> watch this we're gonna put a push rod back through a nice brass push rod this is probably why I gave 40 bucks for this thing. It's got the uh, cleaning attachment screw on the end. I got to get a kit for that. The ball puller and all that. It's got the ramrod on this end. Solid brass, guys. Shit, that's probably like five dollars worth of brass right there. And I paid 40 bucks. And like I said, I ordered everything <laughs> that I could find from this company, and they're pretty cool. You might have to do a little trucking, but track of the wolf incorporated for black powder parts right there take a look not sponsored at all but I'm satisfied <laughs> what are two of everything they had well one of everything they had and we got us a black powder rifle 50 caliber traditions uh, black powder rifle again always store your black powder rifle in half cock don't let it sit against your nipple all right it'll warp it out and your cap won't fit, your percussion cap. So, <laughs> for now, at least one beautiful wall hanger, <laughs> one happy hands on with BLG here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like I said, warning, warning, do not try this at home. Don't do it yourself. No, <laughs> just don't do it yourself. Um, I've, I've repaired several. Uh, I actually built a black, two black powder rifles. Uh, from kits and uh, I've repaired other shotguns and whatnots and you know but just don't do this at home guys it's dangerous it could it could actually go boom you're playing with basically dynamite TNT when you play with a black powder rifle you're putting black powder straight in yeah <laughs> I overloaded a 54 caliber one time which is coming home with me cracked the stock but I can fix that now the days of epoxy thank you <laughs> I loaded what equivalent was in the dark one third of a stick of dynamite into that barrel <laughs> whoops <laughs> I must have had somewhere around 200 grains in it and I touched that thing off at a deer and it threw me over the fucking tree stump I was sitting on and the deer ran away and uh 
Yeah, it hurt. I had a bruise for fucking two months before it cleared up, <laughs> and it cracked the stock. <laughs> it was, it sucked. <laughs> so, yeah, don't do this at home. But thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you, new subscribers. And then tips. I'm getting tips. I can't remember your name. On a rant simulator. I'm getting tips. And I'm liking that. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with playing rant simulator for a little while. And, uh, it seems to be doing all right for now. We'll see where we can get. <laughs> yes, pass the word. Share these videos. Hit the likes and subscribes. You guys are all I got to, pass, to, to, to grow this channel. And, uh, till the next video, folks. That'll be tomorrow. Guess what we're going to do. You might see me blow my fucking face off or my hand. Don't you destroy me. Damn it. I'm righty. I'm the trigger puller. <laughs> no. I'm scared. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. BLG, don't do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it, maybe. I'm thinking about it. And there's only one way to find out. I can always tie it down and <laughs> use a string. We'll see tomorrow, won't we? Cliffhanger! Till the next time, folks. Y'all know what to do. Peace out, people. Just peace out. <laughs> Hands on with BLG. You never know what you will see. Oh, yes, sirree. Hands on with BLG. <laughs> Stick around and learn from me.